My first guest tonight is a very talented comedian. You've seen him on Letterman. You've seen him on Carson. Oh, sorry, uh, The Tonight Show, now with Jay Leno, I guess. And, and HBO specials. And the last time I spoke, uh, I spoke to this guy, I'm going to word mood, Jake. Last time I spoke to this guy, he was getting ready for his Jake. Last time I spoke to this guy, he was getting ready for his annual cat Please welcome Jake Johansson. Good I to see you, Good Alan. to see you. Now, how's the cat? Oh, the cat is great. The butt hairs are short. <laughs> it's a great summer. Now, people won't understand why you do that. You, you might want to explain. Just why do you really? trim the, the hairs on your cat? She's a long hair cat, and okay. sometimes her uh, metabolic waste gets caught in the hair. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked, but well, Dave the Weatherman has something to say about that. Dave? Uh, where is Dave? Dave, uh, he's in the weather room. He Busy. seems a little jumpy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he is, he is a little jumpy. Okay. But uh, now, uh, also, the San Francisco yeah. Giants, your team, uh, they're moving to Tampa? I'm outraged by that. I can tell. I, it's, la last time I was on your show, they were going to move to Santa Clara, and I was already, which is just like an hour south of San Francisco. Right. And I was mad about that. I said they couldn't even be called the, the San Francisco Giants anymore. They would have to be just the Santa Clara guys. And now, I want them out of the major league. <laughs> I, 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 I want it to be like no one will play with them anymore. Yeah. They have a schedule and they show up and the other guys just like flip them off from the dugout. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. They don't even go out on the field. That's that, that's a you know and when How I was, can they do it? I know it's like when uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers left. You know, I think oh, who cares? But now I mean I can I mean if the Cardinals left St. Louis to go to Waco, I'd I'd, I'd go. That's the same. I'd, I'd go. That's the same thing. I guess I go nuts. Nothing against people in Waco, but you know. But St. Louis has already had that uh, problem what, what, with what, their uh, the football team. Yeah, football. Defected. I am a Dolphin fan. I was here. here oh, to, right. The I was Dolphin, raised in Miami. A team. Um, I, I was raised in Miami. Well, if you're if you're from Florida, then you should be excited about the the Giants no, 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 going no, no, there. No, no. Because there. I was born in St. Louis. It's a long story. I'd love to tell you. And if you want to, maybe uh, on your maybe show, maybe I can someday. help you go over some of the chapters of the book. <laughs> and uh, you know that I'm sure you're writing about your life. I am writing a book show. about my you life. You ought to be. Yeah. How is the gruff uh, uh, invincible guy thing going for you? Pardon me. <laughs> Because the vulnerable thing is working out pretty good yeah. for me. And I noticed today you were really hard with the, you know, you're going to punch people out, banging guys' heads together. Not guys. Leno and Arsenio. Right. No, I'm no. Sorry. I, yeah, that's you know, but, the vulnerable guy. I, I mean, I don't want to mention their names right out, but you <laughs> are ready to smash their heads open like so many cantaloupe. Yeah, well, here's the thing. These guys are on, they have national coverage. They have major TV shows. You know, I'm on cable. It's well, pathetic here. No, it's not pathetic oh, here. Yeah, no, 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 right. no. See, that's right. the vulnerable thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, when you lash out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jake. Uh, but no. it's nice here. You have, your, you have your studio. You have your audience. I'm, I'm very happy if, if a network came to me with a, a, a barrel of money, I'd leave in a minute. But, um, no, but I mean, I'm really happy doing this show. I like this show. And these guys, you know, they have huge audiences. They, they, they make 50 times more money than me. And they're whining about these What do they wars? need to make them happy? Exactly. Thank you very much. What do they need? That's what I need. I need the vulnerable side to come in and rescue <laughs> okay. me. But, uh, you know, I mean, you, have you done Arsenio? No, I haven't. Yeah? I would, haven't. Uh, would, you, would you do it? I, I suppose I would. I don't know. Are you offering? Now you're the <laughs> talent coordinator for his show. One <laughs> minute you want to smash his head open. Next no, I don't want to. Know. I just want to, you know, I just wish they'd stop this. Because, you know, stop I... Stop the madness. Yes. Do we have enough troubles with the Serbs and the Croats now without Arsenio? And Jay going exactly. at it? Exactly. People are killing people in Sarajevo, and these guys are whining about, well, who wants to book uh, late night? Yeah, who's the king of late night? There is who no cares? king. Johnny's gone. Get on with your life. Grow up. That's it. It's over. You crystallized it. I did. So, uh, good to be back in New York? I love it here. Yeah? Why? I love it here. Well, what's not to like? Everybody, you know, there's better faces. You see more real people here than in Los Angeles, because uh -huh. it's, I don't know if the air or the... It's just like something is eating them away, <laughs> you know, they're being destroyed, kind of. And so it takes people down to their, to what they really are. Yeah. You see them unmasked. And, and women have real breasts here. <laughs> well, no, but no, but they do. In, in L.A., you know, I, you know, a lot of women have fake breasts. That's a complaint I get from a lot of uh, people out there. Not just but is that, that a bad, is that bad? I, th I think it is. I think it is. Really? I think it's, uh, you know, I mean, if you could by uh, some medical procedure, make your penis larger. Would you do that? Who's to say I haven't? 
Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, okay, maybe. So, uh, doing a lot of road work, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, now with my larger penis, uh, I find the offers are rolling in. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I go, I go yeah. 3000 a week? Ah, uh, <laughs> guess again, Higher. my friend. <laughs> Just sign on the dot of R. I used to make that with the small penis. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you're here uh, playing what? It's not on the pre-interview sheet I know at all. It. Hey, hey, baby, this is what we do with the pre-interview sheet. <laughs> wow. The notes go. Oh wait, I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> uh, we're we're talking with comedian Jake Johansson. We got to cut away for a commercial, and we'll be right back after this. Get the tape. That's what I think. Uh, Welcome back to Night After Night. I'm here with comedian Jake Johansson, and uh, Jake is in town playing Caroline's. Do you like New York crowds uh, as far as doing comedy? Yeah, they're, they're, so far they've been uh, nice. Because San Francisco, where you started, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, right? That's where I started, yes. I didn't, I didn't realize you wanted me to step in that early. I thought you had a whole statement that you were going to really start out on. That. No, but I mean, uh, usually I, I, I find San Francisco crowds are, are terrific. I mean, they'll stay really? with you. Yeah, even if there's like some dead time if you're setting up a story, or sometimes in New York they're a little impatient. Oh. The crowds or the, or the people in general? Well, the people impatient. in general. It, there's that atmosphere here of just, give me the thing and get out, get away from me. <laughs> you know, everybody's just like, give me what I want and then go to hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> get out of this whole city. But uh, the crowds have been good. I think that they, there's kind of a skimming effect that, that nor, you know, the, the intense... But not a lot of cab drivers come to the show. It's just, uh, it's just the, the regular, you know, it's just, uh, it's just the, the regular, you know, people who want to see a comedy show. It's not a cross section, you know. It's not like you just <laughs> chop out a hunk of the city and put it in the audience. Yeah, if that was happening. There's the baker. There's the deli guy. <laughs> There'd be a language thing. barrier with most of the crowd. Now, uh, you have a girlfriend. Yeah. Same one uh, when we saw you in L.A. Yes, the same one. So it's going well, I would mm -hmm. assume. Yeah, she came out here with me to New York. Oh, so she, yeah. she's traveling with you now? Well, <laughs> no, you couldn't say that. Um, but well, she, she got a plane. And she's traveling with me now, but she's not traveling with me now. She she's got a plane. And she's traveling with me now, but she's not traveling with me now. I mean, and she, <laughs> she doesn't go everywhere with me, but she happens to have gone this don't, place Don't with me. pull that vulnerable stuff on me. <laughs> but right. uh, you just don't try anything. So okay, you, I will cold cock you and host the rest of the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> and since you've had it enlarged, it's, you know, so, oh, I, that's, can you say that? You can say whatever you want. You, you can say cold cock. Cold right, cock. Then you made a, never tell, mind. Tell the people at home what cold cock is. Which is where you sucker punch somebody yeah, out. Yes, it's, it's a sucker punch, cold cock. Right. When I was a kid, I read a Batman comic book, and Batman made a mistake. And one of the uh, gangsters <laughs> was reading he a headline. Never makes a mistake. I know, but he did. And uh, one of the gangsters was reading a headline, and he was laughing like har har har. And the headline said, "Batman pulls a boner." And I said, "Wow, that's funny." And my dad said, "Ah, boner is a mistake. When you pull a boner, it's a mistake." Right. It looks like I pulled one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's a typical date with you like? I mean, when you first were going out romancing her, because you know. And I don't mean to embarrass you, but a lot of the women here, and, and, and like when I meet women occasionally, they say, do you know Jake Johansson? You know Jake? <laughs> Just kind of in that, do they do that thing with their head? Yes, they do. That's they do. So they do sweet. the thing with their head. It yeah. is sweet. So uh, what's a typical date with you like? I think women would like to know that. Well, first there's the screening process where I have my people check you out. <laughs> your phone calls, your hometown. And then, uh, no, I, you know, call, I, I would call her up and say, do you want to go? to place X, and we would go to there. <laughs> place X? <laughs> place X. Or, like, or, uh, place bring a your leather mask. I shouldn't have chosen X as the letter, but that's a geometry thing, but it's also a, a dirty movie thing. So I see that confusion that you had. Um, <laughs> but uh, I meant it more as the algebra, I, okay. in the algebra sense. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we'd go to, go, to, you know, go to a movie or have something to eat and then talk about... Uh, Whatever was of interest to us. You know? well, have you ever been on a date, like in the middle of dinner, and you wanted out? You say, I want to get the hell out of here. I'd rather sure. go home and read a good book. I usually just say I have to go to the bathroom and then take off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, 
Remember the last time you were on the show, or I talked about getting you a, a little present? Yeah, that's yes, I do, because I just had a birthday. I know you did. It's the late July. I got you a little present. Here you go. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, Ash. Um, this is is this drugs or what is it? No, it's not. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you know in trouble enough okay. with the bonus. Am I thing, supposed to you know? open it right now? I'm... Yeah, you can open it right oh, now. Oh, that is. It's hey, I, I know you like the little robot. Robot YM3. Yeah. It looks like the Lost in Space it robot, is the lost but in it's space. from Japan, so they call it, <laughs> there that was called YM3, that show. Because um, somehow that had more appeal to the Japanese audience than <laughs> Lost in M3, that show. Because um, somehow that had more appeal to the Japanese audience than <laughs> Lost in Space. And if you don't like that toy, you can play with a box. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you can actually play with the toy, and you can pretend that there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's where your imagination, that's why you're out in Carolina's, you've got an hour HBO special, and I'm stuck here in Basic Cable, because you can use your imagination with stuff like that right away. You're a very uh -huh. imaginative guy, imaginative. Uh-huh. Were you a good student in school? As a I was boy? a good student. Yeah. I was, a, I was not a jock. I was the guy that the jocks cheated off to get their grades. And what do they get you? Take, what do they do for you? What do they do for me? Yeah, you, you, zero, nothing really. I, I never figured, I always assumed there would be some payoff later that uh -huh. they would go, and now it's the thank you banquet. <laughs> um, but, uh, never came? Was never, I, you know, I kept waiting to be surprised and finally getting the diploma and uh, they're all just sitting there. One time I was driving by your house in L.A. and I saw your neighbor. The guy with a huge mustache? <laughs> yeah, my neighbor, the, the mustache guy, Gary. Yeah. What's going on with the mustache guy, Gary? Yeah. What's going on with him? Is he still, uh, <laughs> what's going on with him? Well, he's, he's okay. I, I'm trying to get him to shave the mustache because I think it's holding him back. From in what? The, in the women department. Oh. It's like a barrier. They don't like that. Plus, he also smokes a pipe, which makes, it's like he's setting up a fog, a smoke screen, first of all, to conceal himself and then that mustache. Although, you grew a beard. Is that working for you? Working real well. <laughs> no, 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 it is. It's none of my business. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> working for me in what way? Is it attracting women to you? I mean, is that why you grew it, or was hey, it listen, more of I don't a... attract women. I could grow, I could grow like $100 bills on something. <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, I could, I could grow like really nice women's shoes on my ears. I wouldn't attract women. You know? I don't know. It's just some, you know, I get the, the misfits and the mental cases. That's, that's the way I get. <laughs> You know, I... You know, I, I walk by Penn Station, I see a woman going, hey, yeah, yeah, come on over. That's before you... No, I have a very, I'm in a very good relationship, and everything's great. So I'm... I'm oh, you are? Yeah, but uh, I, I notice that Italian women... Hmm. I, I, it, it reminds them of... I'm, Oh, that well, was no, like you know that enough thing. for me. It's no, the, that was the alley-oop play of comedy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, but I don't play that crap. Well, that's for you. Could have you said legs. legs. That would have been a joke. What? Because it reminds them of their the, legs. That yeah, but that's a, a that would be a lyric. <laughs> now, see, I think that's a lame joke. I, I really do. I think that's a lame joke. But it had a terrific effect on because, me. Because, because they're in this giggly Jake Johansson vulnerable mode. And it's I such noticed. a... It was kind of icy when I was watching you in here earlier. Yes, and, it, and yeah. they're so tired of me that <laughs> anybody that comes in... We had a jazz musician that... that they went nuts. They're, they've been listening to me rant and raving, and, and they're, they're tired of me. So when you come in, it's, ha, ah, Jake's here. Maybe that's what... Maybe that's what the, the beard is all about. You're just trying to fool them into thinking you're a different guy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm going to get a pipe. Um, well, listen, I, I, I want to come by and see you. Uh, at Caroline's. Can Please you get come me, by and you get me a, come to my house. Can you come get me in the home. golden circle up front where you might actually be pelted with my uh, saliva? Saliva or sweat or I give you one of those scarves. Oh, you, are you working with scarves? Are you doing <laughs> a scarf? Where I have. <laughs> if you'd like to see this gentleman, uh, he's very funny. Uh, this week, August 14th, 15th, and 16th, right here. And Jake, always a pleasure. Thank you, Al. Come by any time. Uh, we'll be right